Did you know that the pathway that porn stars got into the adult entertainment industry has transitioned over the decades. And today, I want to talk about how the stars of yesteryear got into the business all the way until the stars of today. Once again, we've got the one and only Miss Burton Andrews here with you. And I have been in the adult entertainment industry for three decades. And when I got into the business, things were very different. And the way that most of us back then got into the business was through dancing. Woohoo! Yes, we were dancing at our local clubs or we were feature dancing. And for someone like myself, it started off dancing at a local club in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where I am originally from. The club was called Ricky's on State. It is still there. And once every decade I go there, I kiss the wall and I say, thank you, Mother Goddess She, for giving me such a long lasting career that started here. So I started off there, then I went to feature dancing school in Northern Wisconsin. And then I started my path as a feature dancer in the United States. Back then, I was on something that was called the Creature Feature Dance Circuit, which means you weren't getting paid the big money. It was before I had a lot of credits underneath my name and a big resume. And so I would take the Greyhound bus, ooh, yes, the Greyhound bus, and I would stay at these $100 a week Roach Motels. Ooh, awful, right? But that's how I got my start, and a lot of women of my era will tell you that's how they got their start. I'm always being asked, Brittany, how has everything changed in the business? And this is definitely one of the ways that everything has changed. As things moved into a digital era, more performers were not coming from a physical club per se and started coming from, and not as much, you know, as we move forward, it was coming more from canon. Ever since the pandemic, you're finding more and more performers that are coming from fan platforms as well. Once that changes, a lot of other things change too. When I originally got my start with, you know, working at clubs, that had a completely kind of different interaction with our fans. Once I became more popular, I started featuring at bigger clubs with better prices, staying at much nicer hotels and taking planes. But still the fan interaction was very minimal. Even when you had your own official website, there wasn't too much interaction. I did have a fan club with a mailbox where they would forward me my mail, but most of it all came from gentlemen that were in jail. And so I would just send a brochure of different things that I was selling, but there wasn't really a lot of fan interaction. Nowadays, of course, we've got fan platforms and with a lot of the corn performers, that are now in the business coming from fan platforms, the skills are very different. I have a tendency to always say that the performer of yesteryear, we had to be entertainers, but that was kind of it. You went on set, you did the dance, <laughs> and then you went the funk home, right? Uh, now though, you really have to have a lot more skills to be in this business. If you want to be in this business and you started from fan platforms, well, you have to understand online marketing, you have to understand video production, which means you have to understand all different kinds of things from algorithm to programming to lighting, camera equipment, organizing your content. I mean, there's so many different things, understanding SEO, keywords, understanding captions. You know, even organizing your content can be a lot of work, especially someone like myself that's got three decades of content. So, you know, there definitely was some pros from my era where you just, not to be rude to my era, you didn't have to be as skilled and talented. I mean, you did in certain ways, but nowadays you're expected to have all of those talents plus a hundred times more. And you just have got to understand all these different platforms, the features, the stories, how to utilize every aspect of those platforms. So, you know, there definitely is a lot of change that came from when I originally first started to where we are at today. And I'm very glad, as they say, that old dogs well, I'm more like a kitty cat, meow. 
old kitties can learn new tricks. I have made sure that I understand all of the different tips and tricks and all of the different platforms from Snapchat Shot to Tiki Talk to still utilizing Facebook. If you wanna see me on Facebook, I'm there too. Just making sure that I'm continually educating myself and understand algorithms and all the other things that I said before that to be a performer of today that I still understand. So once again, as I always say, what has changed? Everything has changed. And I'm happy to share with you the history of the corn industry and all of the different changes, the way that it used to be to the way that it is today. And I hope that you enjoy going down the trip of memory lane all the way back up to today. And if you like everything about the corn industry and learning all of the juicy topics, scandals, at everything that we're talking about here. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. The one and only Miss Brittany Andrews signing off.